Hamooligans, hamooligans, spell like jam, but sounds like hell. Hamooligans, hamooligans, listen along with your friends and fam. It's time to hear from the pastors again. Welcome in to Hamooligans weekly roundtable discussion of the pastors of Humboldt Community Church in San Diego, California. I'm Ryan Murphy, worship pastor, and I'm here with Danny Long, generations and administrative pastor. Hello. And Gary Musser, the senior pastor. Hey, good to be here. So have you guys packed your bags for the men's retreat yet? No. No. But they will be. Okay. They will be. You are going to pack a bag? Yeah, That's I figured good. the guys would appreciate it. That's good. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. No. You're I'm not thinking about it. Oh, you're thinking about it. I thought you just weren't going to pack a bag. Yeah, no, I think I will. <laughs> I ran out of deodorant this morning, so I'm going to oh. have to remedy yeah. that before Friday. Yeah, that's why this room's so Yeah, we were talking about it. <laughs> no, I, I, I ran out of it today, so I'm good You're good today, right now. Guys. Yeah. Oh, so, it must be. So tomorrow else. will must avoid you. My natural. Yeah. My natural. And the one thing with rough acres, as awesome as it is, people forget towels because you have to bring your own oh, towel. Oh, yeah. So. There's always guys using like the bath mats to dry off and stuff like that. So. Napkins, toilet yeah. paper. Yeah. They take extra. Yeah, hey, I wouldn't do that with toilet paper right now. No, I it's, know. it's quite a commodity right it now. It is. It is, which we'll be talking about later. Well, thank you for joining us. You can find this podcast and other great teachings from JCC on our church app, on iTunes, Google Play, wherever you find your favorite podcast. Please subscribe and leave a review. It helps to get the word out to others about good Christian content for the whole family. I think we have about six ratings so far. All no right. reviews. So mm -hmm. who's going to be the first one to write a review? That's the challenge. Do they get a prize? Listeners. I'll, I'll enter you into the, the monthly Bravos contest. I'll Ooh. give you an extra entry if you're yes. the first reviewer that, that we find. Are staff allowed? Staff are not allowed. Oh. Okay. But we're not so... Uh, What's the word? Draconian that we don't allow staff, like relatives of staff. Oh, okay. But okay. Gary Byron still counts as staff. Yeah, okay. he is. So he's a relative, but yeah, he's yeah staff. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, do do leave a review, uh, please, and uh, we appreciate you listening. As pastors, uh, why are we doing this? We want to live out Colossians one twenty eight twenty nine. Proclaiming Jesus, teaching everyone so that believers might be mature in Christ. We have a nifty show for you today, so let's jump right in with a little segment we like to call The Buzz. The Buzz. The Buzz highlights a weird, wild, wonderful, or woeful story from the news. Today's buzz has been ringing in our ears for over a month now. We actually talked about it in a different light over a month ago, and at that time we were more focused on the news that was happening in China. Uh, and that was before it really had spread as much as it had today, but still the, the main story, what people are talking about, is the coronavirus. Um, it's not only affecting the world's health, but also travel, business, education, economy, everything. Danny, what's the buzz about coronavirus as of this recording? Uh, as of today, um, actually the World Health Organization just came out and said uh, they do classify this as a pandemic, mm -hmm. and it is uh, it is making news everywhere, and just everyone's aware, and make, everyone has different thoughts about how serious it is, and uh, and we as a church, we, we've been talking about it, and we just want everyone to know we're taking very seriously just the possibility of different things happening, and and how we as a church can be prepared, um, and just things that we can do to, to do whatever we can to kind of uh, provide a healthy or a safe and as safe of an environment as we can for Sunday mornings. Um, things that we're going to be doing, we're going to be uh, cleaning and disinfecting stuff between services, a lot of the flat surface or surface areas, doorknobs, things like that, just trying to Trying to do what we can as far as that goes, monitoring what the CDC or County Health or the World Health Organization is saying and kind of going by their recommendations or requirements. At this point in time, we have no plans to cancel anything, any any of our services or any, you know things like that. Certain small groups maybe if their leaders and such desire to for, for those type of reasons. But um, 
we're going to really just monitor because it's changing daily. Right. I mean, it's it's one of those. It's what we you know by the time this comes out, things may have changed, mm -hmm. and uh, we just we're paying attention. Um, there are churches not in our area, but right. uh, in the country who are not meeting and going to, to an online presence. Um, that is not what we're planning on doing again, but um, if we have to, we do have live streaming available. We're going to drink greeting time, um, try to refrain from shaking hands. You can, you can do the little elbow bump. They don't even really recommend fist bumps at this point, but uh, you can smile and wave if nothing else <laughs> and still have conversation without having to get too up close and personal. Right. Uh, so those are some of the things that we're doing, but again, just really want to encourage you just to be praying about it. Uh, this isn't something we're, we're deeply fearful of or worried about, but we just want to monitor and be wise and um, just be paying attention. And ultimately, like I said, be praying that uh, it would just come to an end. So. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly right. We're just going to keep an eye on things. And so we've already talked about some things that if necessary we will put into place mm -hmm. but um, we want to wait till that's the right time yeah. and, then, and, and then we'll be ready already knowing what the plan is yeah so and one of the things they did encourage is uh, our, ch our church insurance actually sent a thing out one of the things that they suggest is using hand sanitizer before and after services so um, take advantage of those we'll We'll probably move it closer to the front doors, our little hand sanitizer thing, and feel free to smile and wave at a greeter and uh, grab some hand sanitizer on your way in, and right. we'll, we'll go from there. Right. Yeah, it's it's so hard, you know, in our in our shoes, right? Of just trying to take care of of people and being in a uh, you know uh, we're in a, a people organization, right? The church is about about the people, and and so how do we not underreact, but mm -hmm. how do we not overreact, mm -hmm. right? And and then I hope too, just in general, you know, just to encourage people to realize how hard this is for everybody, you know, for, from your kids' schools to, uh, yeah. you know, community events to churches, just, just everybody. It's such a hard decision about how to treat it and not, yeah, not overreact. We're canceling everything. Stay in your homes. But then not to underreact and be like, eh, it doesn't matter, it's not real, it's, it's, you know, it's not that bad, you know, and just kind of like, ah, just to, how to find that, how to find that safe and wise middle ground. So we, we uh, hope and we pray for the best, but we make plans and put them in place for the worst in case that happens. And yeah. that's what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so that was the buzz. Let's zip on over to a segment called Sunday Leftovers. What's in the fridge? What's in your fridge? Nah, 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 nah. But just be smart about how you handle your leftovers, too. Sunday Leftovers is a part of the show where we break down last week's sermon, talk about how it changed us, challenged us, chafed us, cheered us. If you missed it, go to homol.org or download our church app and have a listen. So, Ryan. What did you think about the message on Sunday? Now, remember, Gary's here, so be careful. Yeah, yeah. He can take it. He can take it. He can take it. <laughs> he can take it. No, um, I, I, I loved it. It was that, that section on patience is, is so good. Um, it, was, it was actually, I'm trying to think when I actually had the realization. Well, I guess it was so during worship, you know, the way we do our worship, we have, we do the same worship team for both services. And so first service, we usually don't listen to the sermon. We go back and we have our own Bible study back in the little green room. You may have heard us back there. Hopefully we're not too loud most Sundays. <laughs> we try to keep it down. But um, yeah, so we're back there and we actually, we've been doing a Bible study on, on Joseph and how I, I read a book. Uh, it was given to me by my friend Jeff. It was called uh, The Long View of God, and just kind of this idea that, you know, God is sovereign. He does have a big picture in mind that's bigger. So anyway, so we were doing this, this Bible study on Joseph in the back, and I realized kind of like halfway through the study this week, wait, this is exactly what we're talking about. I bet this is what Gary's <laughs> preaching on this week. And so, anyway, just kind of, kind of said that. And then, well, sure enough, when we got up to the sermon, and, and one of your illustrations, I mean, I think you also went through Moses and David as well. Just this example of 
how it, you know the time that it took for God to work out His plans, and and that is something that in our fast food culture, our instant gratification, mm-hmm. instant download generate you know culture that we have today, we're getting worse and worse and worse at that, and just the years that it took of waiting of, of God's you know speaking with them, God developing in those men so you know just how you had you talked about Moses you talked about David but you talked about Joseph right and 20 23 years between that promise that he had from God and then when that vision the dreams that he had actually actually came to fruition so yeah I just uh, I just love that it's just such an important story it's it's not it's such an important characteristic for us to have and those stories just illustrated that that so well so and then of course we were so engrossed in our bible study that we all <laughs> it came out late that's the first time that's the first time that's happened probably won't be the last time but uh first <laughs> time it's ever happened where i was like oh he's actually praying we got to get out there we have a little speaker back there but we just didn't turn it on uh in time so yeah i was hoping and praying and and you showed up. <laughs> years and years ago, we had a Sunday where that happened, but they never came up. <laughs> they never did. It was yeah. mutiny. Yeah. Uh, I think they were through with their California burrito or something. Uh, well, we weren't eating. We were doing holy Yes, things. of course. Yeah, very inspired things. Yes. So, but we were still late. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then... I, one other thing, just the example of Job, I thought was really interesting in that passage, yeah. because Job is just, I don't know, it's one of the most fascinating stories, I think, in scripture, and and, and, and just how he uses Job there, and he, the way he uses it, James uses it there with confidence, right? We saw what happened to Job, and he tells it as like like a victory story, and I think a lot of people in our culture today, they look at Job as like an example of useless suffering. Hmm. And so when James just says, this was part of a bigger picture of what God was doing. God had a bigger plan in the life of Job. And he, you know, I think some of us from our human perspectives, and if we don't really dive deep into Job's relationship with God, we just look at it on the surface. We say, Job lost A, B, C, and D. God allowed it to happen. God's terrible. And that... James is just like, no, this is part of God's bigger picture, bigger plan all along, and he's, he's orchestrating it. Mm-hmm. So. I wish there was another chapter in Job mm. 10 years later when he has his friends come back yeah. and see what they have to say. Yeah. It's the Job, where is he now? Right, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm. All right, well, those leftovers hit the spot. Not a day too old. Not past their expiration date at all. Delicious. Well, that's going to do it for Homoligans this week. Don't forget to check out our other weekly episode, Weekly Bread, a 15-minute devotional message. Remember the Homoligan slogan, whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, or admirable, if it's excellent or praiseworthy, think on such things. It's Philippians 4.8. If you think you know the voice of the person who's going to take us out today, and actually it's going to be the same voice all month, so... Just, just when you when you figure it out, if you can figure it out, this one's a little harder, I think. Mm-hmm. Send an email to homoligans at homol.org and be entered in a monthly contest for a twenty dollar gift card to Bravos. We just had our first winner last last week and picked it up, picked up that gift certificate. So um, I actually went there for a meeting last week, a, a dinner meeting, and I I told the owners. I was like, hey, we're, we're advertising for you guys on our mm-hmm. podcast. And they looked at me a little bit like, what are you doing? <laughs> and uh, but I told them, no, no, it's all good. It's all good. We, we love you. And we, we want people to come here. So, so if you do go to Bravo's, tell them, tell them that you heard about them on Homoligans. And yeah. they might give you a, a free glass of water. Yeah. Ooh, maybe, maybe some extra bread. Oh, now that. that <laughs> There's some be, value there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know, just just the just one of the perks of listening to Mulligans. Yeah. Free water, free water at Bravos. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right. Until next time. You've just listened to Hamulligans, a podcast of Hamul Community Church. 
the church that's easy to get to but hard to leave. Come back next week for more from the pastors.